The video review will start in a few seconds, but if you're watching this on YouTube, remember if you have a question, comment, or suggestion for me, you can post it on 3dgameman.com and the link is provided below. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Be Quiet Dark Power Pro 10 850 watt power supply. This is a great looking informative box that has a picture of the product on the front, plus lots of features and specifications about it. Note that the box is wrapped in plastic, so you know nobody else has opened it as well. They have a security seal here at the front and a handle at the top. This power supply is packaged extremely well. They have this tough, high quality foam on the top and everything is seated properly in foam here. You've got the power supply on the right, They have protective plastic here on either side of the power supply, as well as an overclocking bracket. They include fan leads. I'll have more on how they connect into the power supply a little later on in the video review. Lots of cable ties. There are some plastic ones, as well as the Velcro style cable ties. Five regular black screws, as well as five oversized thumb screws, the power cord, and in this box they have all of the modular leads. The Dark Power Pro line of power supplies are currently available in a number of different wattages. 550, 650, 750, 850, 1000, and 1200. I'll be reviewing the 850 watt model today. Now how is this wattage determined? Well to understand this you need to know what rails are. Rails are basically well-regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use. And there are essentially two different rails, the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail and the 12 volt rail. Now in this particular case, the approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 140 watts and the 12 volt is 840 watts, which is essentially how the wattage of this power supply is determined. Now the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard, memory, PCI cards, and so on while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the hard drives, optical drives, fans, CPU, video cards, etc. It's also important to know the peak amps on each rail. Well, the plus 3.3 volt and the plus 5 volt rails are both 25 amps each. And there are four plus 12 volt rails. The plus 12 volt one and the plus 12 volt two are 30 amps each and the plus 12 volt 3 and the plus 12 volt 4 are 45 amps each. Note though that this power supply can be switched to a single plus 12 volt rail which is 70 amps. So depending on the use you can use multiple rails or a single plus 12 volt rail. There are a number of important things to remember when selecting a power supply and the first is wattage. You need to determine how much wattage you are going to require by the amount of hardware that you will be installing. Now, generally speaking, a medium to high-end gaming rig would require a 500 to 700 watt power supply for a hardcore system. Select a power supply that's around 800 watts. If, however, you are building an extreme gaming rig with a top-of-the-line multiple video card setup with lots of other hardware, select a power supply that's 1,000 watts or greater. Second, it should be at or above 80% efficiency at typical load. That's not a problem for this power supply because its efficiency is up to 94%. Third, it should meet the latest ATX and other current standards, environmental directives, over voltage, under voltage, and other protections. This power supply meets all current standards. Fourth, I'd recommend choosing a power supply that has APFC. APFC, or Active Power Factor Correction, assists the power supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load. APFC basically reduces total harmonics, corrects input voltage, and it allows for full input voltage range. And thankfully, this power supply has APFC. Fifth, there are three main certifications, 80 plus, NVIDIA SLI, and AMD Crossfire. Many of today's high-end power supplies meet one or more of these certifications. This power supply meets the 80 plus platinum certification and it is NVIDIA SLI and AMD Crossfire certified. Additionally, this power supply is ERP 2013 ready, 
meaning standby power drain is below 0.3 watts. Sixth, look for a power supply that uses Japanese capacitors because this ensures a much more reliable product than a power supply that does not use Japanese capacitors, but rather low grade capacitors. And this power supply uses 100%, 105 degree Japanese capacitors. Also worth noting is its full bridge synchronous rectifying and DC to DC transformation. Note though that the 750 models and under come with a half bridge. Finally, get a power supply that has enough leads for your setup. Also consider a power supply like this one that has a modular design because it reduces the cable mess inside the case. Also, it's important to get a power supply with an excellent warranty. And this power supply comes with an incredible five year warranty. This power supply has a gray black silver theme going on, looks quite nice. The overall build quality on this is just exceptional. It also has rubber all around the perimeter here on the front and the back, and of course, this is to cut down on vibrations. Now this model is super quiet and produces less than 12 decibels of noise all the way up to 90% of full load. Additionally, up to four case fans can be attached to and controlled by the power supply circuitry to further minimize system noise. Now here's the fan cable. This end is connected into the power supply and they've got two fan connectors either a three pin connector or the four pin Molex connector. They include this very stylish fan grill and below it is a 135 millimeter silent wings to fan with airflow optimized fan blades, advanced fluid dynamic bearing with copper core and coupled mounting that reduces noise and transmission of vibrations. So with an amazing fan like this and the many ventilation holes, this power supply should remain cool in almost any environment. Here's the power cord connection and and the power switch. Now, as I mentioned earlier, with this particular model, you have the option of going with multiple plus 12 volt rails or a single plus 12 volt rail. Depending upon your use, you can pick either one. But how does this work? Well, they have this particular expansion slot bracket with a switch on it. You just wire it into the power supply here. And then if you want a single plus 12 volt rail, well, flick the switch. Now, if you don't want to use this expansion slot bracket, they include a jumper. You just connect it here and that will then enable the single plus 12 volt rail. Now this particular power supply isn't 100% modular. It has the main motherboard lead hardwired into the power supply, but all of the other leads are modular. And a power supply that is modular is just fantastic because you only need to use the leads required for your particular setup. And of course, this reduces the cable mess inside the case and thus increases airflow. Everything is labeled here at the back, so it really takes the guesswork out of connecting the leads. Now, I just wanted to highlight the overall attention to detail. The build quality on this power supply is out of this world, really unlike most power supplies on the market. Look, for example, at the main motherboard lead and how it is connected into the power supply. As well, this lead is sleeved and the modular leads are sleeved as well. And the sleeving job that they've done is exceptional. Finally, have a listen to the 135 millimeter fan. If you're in the market for an 850 watt 80 plus platinum certified as well as NVIDIA SLI and AMD Crossfire certified power supply that performs exceptionally well, is super quiet, looks just amazing, also has the overclocking feature where you can go with, you know, the plus 12 volt rails, many of them, or you can just go with a single one and you can add fans to this power supply as well, plus it is modular. Without a doubt, this is one of the very best power supplies that I have ever reviewed. Overall, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, 
Take care. I hope you enjoyed this video review and please note that pricing for this product is available on the 3D Game Man video review page.